as you know, Delhi has several actions at the same time. Right now we have ISA summit, right after the Gandhi celebration summit. So I had a series of ministers, one for another. And I was busy in attending one of these appointments. The minister is living for the airport and I'm here on my way to the international sector. First of all, a very good morning to all of you, distinguished president of the first world. I think when SARC activities in all other fronts are not progressing very well, I'm indeed very happy that under your able guidance, this festival has been going on with a renewed vigor and zeal every year. And I'm indeed very happy that we have a number of participants from Bangladesh this year. And as you mentioned, perhaps this is the largest that we had to the recent times. Yeah. Thank you. First of all, let me just underline the fact that currently Indo-Bangladesh relationship is progressing very well. And I think the best relationship that exists between the two countries has been during the last four years. As uh, former President Mr. Narendra Modi, Mr. Pranam Mukherjee has said, this is the best ever relationship since 1974. And the present president has also talked it as the India and Bangladesh as the closest neighbor. So I'm indeed very happy that our cooperation in various areas are going. I'm also happy that uh, our cooperation in the areas of art, literature and culture is progressing very well. You know, the last visit of my Prime Minister to India was to open the European Bangladesh Bhavan at the Shantini Gita. And if you have a chance to visit, certainly do visit the Bangladesh Bhavan over there, because this will serve as the centre for literary cooperation between our side and the Indian side, particularly on the great poet whom we all share. Bangladesh and India not only shares land, water, air, mosquito, but also great poets. And the, obviously we do share Tekko. I think last weekend we saw a cricket match and I was watching it at two and it started with the two national anthems. First, Amar Shonar Bangla, followed by Janagana Mono. I told my wife, in either case, Tagore wins. <laughs> so Tagore surely wins, that wins our hearts, wins our soul, and I think we are very grateful to our distinguished literary personalities who have nurtured the spirit for the last so many years. It may be worthwhile to mention that the, one of the first cooperation agreement between Bangladesh and India was signed in December 1972 when Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman had taken the initiative to sign this literary and cultural agreement which to provide a platform for exchanges of our literary personalities between the two countries. And since then this program has expanded, it has grown and it has been possible for us to celebrate various occasions together like the 150th birth anniversary of Tagore, which is celebrated in 2012, and also we celebrated in, sorry, in 2011, and in 2012 we have also celebrated the 113th birth anniversary of the rebel poet Kazi Nazur Islam. So the celebration, joint celebration of the two sides continues, and at the same time our two high commissions in Dhaka and Delhi. We try to organize cultural events at a regular interval and we have been very successful in projecting each other's culture quite well in this area. I think our distinguished uh, predecessor, Mr. Muchkundu, very recently also translated the great works of Lalon Shah into Hindi. And I think it's a remarkable job because Lalon is a great guy. And I think Ambassador Zube has taken the initiative to promote him in this part. Everywhere that I go to, I carry a copy of his book and present it to him to say, in case you can't read Bengali, at least read the Hindi. 
The other area where we also cooperate is on the question of our celebration of the Omori Kushi as the International Mother Language Day. And that, as you know, when I'm, I had some role in this particular proclamation, and I felt particularly happy that on Omori Kushi we have this Ekushi Boimera, and a number of your literary personalities do visit Bangladesh and do take part in the seminars which are held in the month of programs. So I do hope that in future this collaboration will continue. At the same time, we are also cooperating in various other forums to promote our culture and our literary traditions. Culture and literature, it never grows in isolation. It is always necessary to have a cross-fertilization of ideas, to have exchange, broad exchanges of views, and I think I would be very happy if I see that we can cooperate more extensively in the future, particularly in promoting and strengthening our common languages. Uh, I can just uh, often quote that Bengali is the sixth largest spoken language in the world today. But if you look into the world of books, if you look into the world of cultural exchanges, perhaps our languages are pretty much neglected in the international arena. And one of the reasons being perhaps we do not have enough translation work of our great literary work into the major foreign languages, for which many of the international readership are totally, totally ignorant about the strength and the richness of our own language and culture. So I think I would certainly hope and pray that uh, there will be more fusion and there will be more interaction among the literary talents of our two countries under the ages, both under the ages of bilateral cooperation as well as under the SARC cooperation, which you have been promoting for the last so many years. And I do hope that the present meet that you will have here in Delhi will produce concrete and tangible results. In the meantime, if the with the passage of science and technology, I'm sure it should be quite possible for all of us to promote a greater degree of translation work among the different languages of South Asia. Because even in Delhi, I sometimes feel Tagore is not appreciated as much as he should be in all parts of India or in all parts of South Asia. So I think charity begins at home. We should also try to translate, if not for the international readership, at least for ourselves at least. And I wish this meet every success. And I thank you again for inviting me and taking part in this get together. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.